many, so many times to try and make this video. And because I hadn't really been able to find the right words to, you know, describe what I want to talk about and really in the most appropriate way and how I feel about it and how passionate I am about it. So I guess here it is. So what I want to discuss is the death penalty, which is really relevant and major considering what's happening in Indonesia right now with the two Bali 9 drug traffickers. I'm going to say straight up, I don't agree with the death penalty. For a while, I never really had a perspective on it. But after just thinking about it morally and my own research invest and investigations, I know that taking the life of another is not right. Is there any crime that justifies death penalty? As it has been going for um, years and years and years, they've had these different crimes where it's been punishable by death. So you've got like murder, stealing, rape, treason, heresy, witchcraft, sorcery, drug trafficking as such. And even in America in the 1700s, you know, cutting down a tree illegally was punishable by death. So the amount of crimes that I guess the death penalty is applied to is quite a range and they're all quite, have different circumstances. So in that way, I don't think the death penalty is actually valid it's somewhat corrupted in that way in terms of like law enforcement when you look up the definition for capital punishment and the death penalty it is defined as a legal process of punishment by execution and if you stay on that word legal they're saying that killing another person because under the law that it is legal it is okay and that's one of the major problems with um a law such as the death penalty because it is actually more worse than murder, in my opinion. But the government and those that represent us, the authorities, are saying that it is okay to make to take another person's life, when in fact, in 1948, the United Nations General Assembly adopted in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that everyone has a right to life. So basically, the death penalty is a denial of human rights. Also, another thing why people are... I guess for the death penalty is because they're under this illusion that it deters crime. And there is no evidence that this has stopped other criminals from doing it. I think more so it will provoke people to be more clever about what they do. Um, for example, the drug traffickers, people are still going to traffic drugs because people uh, make a business out of it. They're just going to learn to be more subtle about it, more clever, to you know get different um, strategies. And that's why the death penalty is just redundant. Yes, I believe that if you commit a crime, you deserve to do your time, like in prison, for however long that should be and however long that's defined. Life imprisonment, yes, I approve of that. But um, I understand why some people wouldn't be satisfied with that, considering a lot of people that are put on trial, then in court, they get life imprisonment, but then through more court cases, they then get this time reduced. And that that's a threat to people. They feel vulnerable in the fact that they didn't get the justice that they wanted. Of course, you would feel that way. But we don't need to go advocating for something as brutal and as dehumanizing as the death penalty. People can change. That's why they have rehabilitation in prisons. And that's why these men, one of them, Andrew Chan, has been helping people within the prison. He's been doing a lot of biblical outreach to people, you know, um, because it was, uh, he has a Christian family, so he's really looking towards that, and he's changing as a person, both of them are, and I think people are afraid of that, they want to have the criminal there to stay criminalised in a way, like stay this, in this evil figure, because then their judgement of wanting to die is justified, when if they change, it's like, no, 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 they can't do that, they can't change, they can't be going from bad to good, that's just not how it works, but yes, it is how it works, because we're in human nature, and people do change, no matter how much you want to deny it, and well, there's also another execution um, that's being planned for a Nigerian boy called Moses, and he stole three mobile phones when he was 16, and he was sentenced to eight years in jail, now he's on death row. We're, we say we're so advanced with technology and it's 2015, but in terms of moral standards, we are way back. We are on the wrong side of history because we're not moving forward. We're just 
degrading ourselves and you know ruining society for ourselves people might think i'm horrible you might think i'm horrible for saying i don't agree with the death penalty but i i don't i'm not afraid to say that i do not agree with it and you shouldn't just sit back and just pretend that you don't have a perspective on it because i bet you do i bet you have a strong passionate feeling whether you agree with it or not you need to make your voice heard because there is still time people think no 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 we can't make a difference, but there is still time. You can still sign petitions. You can still put your voice out there and, you know, really fight against um, the injustices of what is happening now. President of Indonesia, Joko, he said that, yes, the abolishment of death penalty is possible, but it would take a long time. It would take a long time because people like him are willing to still enact the death penalty and it was in 2013 that Indonesia brought back the execution of drug traffickers so he's gonna say it's gonna be a long time and that's for the fault of him and other authority figures around the world and governments have decided yes that we're going to keep this and there are organizations that are working towards abolishing it in all countries all around the world Amnesty International which is the largest human rights organization in the world and they're doing an amazing job. I would encourage you to look them up on amnestyinternational.org. The links will be in the description. They have an amazing video there about more about death penalties, so you can learn a bit more about the facts and what they have done. When you go onto their site, there's, you can get involved by donating, donating towards different campaigns, such as ending the death penalty. You can sign up to petitions, which is really easy. Each time a person signs up, this email is then sent to someone such as the president of Indonesia and saying that we don't agree with this, we need this change to happen. You can join action groups, so if you just look in your sense city or state, um, you'll be able to find that there's probably a local Amnesty International group that you can get involved with, that you can help campaign and volunteer, and it's that easy. People think they have to, you know, go out to a different country. No, you can actually do it from sitting right in your room, at your desk, at your laptop, like, making change is not a hard thing to do. Yes, it takes a gradual while for change to happen, um, to bring about the entire abolishment of death penalty, but every time an individual gets on board and every time a community says, yes, we're against this and we're going to fight out against this, this is a, a closer step to, you know, getting peace in the world and justice. Some people think the death penalty is a way to acquire justice and um, but it's not it's not at all in fact it's an injustice to all the people in the world where we uh, live under governments that have decided things for us decided that we think it's okay for people to die mm. it is ludicrous what is going on in our world such as this Ugh. you say you want the death penalty but has anyone really even thought about that we just keep putting our effort into making sure that those criminals that have done horrible things, unimaginable things, get that life imprisonment and they do not get a reduced sentence? Life imprisonment is what we need to be advocating for, if anything, not for the death of someone. Because sometimes living is harder than dying. Because dying just happens in the moment and it's gone. You say, yeah, I'll be happy when he's dead. But if he actually has to suffer the consequences of being in a prison for his whole lifetime and dragging it out, I think that is the right punishment. I, so I guess you got my perspective on this issue. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but also I'm not sorry. Because this is what this is about. This is about inviting you to use your voice and speak out for what you believe in. And that's what I'm doing. Comment below what you thought of this video and your own perspective on the death penalty. I would love to hear what you have to say because you deserve to use your voice and you deserve someone to listen. In the next few days, I'll be collaborating with a friend on another issue, so stay tuned for that. And don't forget to like this video, or just like this video, and subscribe.